Renowned soul singer Gladys Knight is married to fourth husband William McDowell, to whom she has been married for 18 years and is happily married despite their age difference. In 2001, Gladys Knight met William and the two fell in love. William, 14 years younger than the Queen of Souls, is the man she has been looking for all her life. Gladys was. 57 years old when she met William, so having children together wasn't an option. But they both adore the singer's 17 grandchildren and 10 great grandchildren. Following the release of a heartwarming photo of him and his mother, William McDowell paid his mother an emotional homage and admitted that he missed her. Gladys Knight has been married to McDowell since 2001. He is her fourth spouse. They have ten great grandchildren and seventeen grandkids between them. Knight, known as the Empress of Soul, just turned 76 years old. Speaking about her marriage to Atlanta Race McDowell Knight, she said that her husband had transformed her into a rural girl. Even Reynolds High School, the sole African American high school in Nashville, Western North Carolina, was purchased by the couple. A fundraising event was arranged by Knight McDowell in order to refurbish. It and give it back to the neighborhood. When McDowell, who was raised nearby, stated, "We are on hallow ground. This particular structure, in this specific place, was the backbone of this community long before I came here. It was a meaningful moment for him. I want to have that back. We shouldn't feel bad about this area since it belongs to us." Knight has had four marriages. She first saw James Newman when she was 16 years old. Despite having two kids, Newman struggled with drug addiction and left his family after four years. She met Barry Hankerson in 1974. However, after having a son, they were divorced in 1979. The next year, from 1995 to 1997, she was wed to Les Brown. The majority of viewers had guessed that she was wearing the disguise. Gladys Knight was one of three finalists on the popular television program The Masked Singer. It was revealed last year. Although she finished third, the majority of viewers assumed she was one person wearing the outfit, mostly because of her unusual voice. Knight stated, "I truly loved being the bee, following the unveiling. It has been a fantastic experience." Kelly Rowland portrayed Knight on the BET television program American Soul last year. The narrative for the show focused on Don Cornelius and the Soul Train. Previously, Shankar Hankerson, the singer's son, had established a string of chicken and waffle eateries. Police did, however, raid two of the places, and it turned out that Hankerson was associated with delinquent taxes. After a year, Knight cut relations with the eateries and gave her son the authority to remove her name off the Gladys Knight. What do you think about the set story of the Gladys Knight family? Please leave your comments for her below this video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to update the latest news about Gladys Knight. Thank you for watching the whole video.